Hello, everybody. My name is Nasty Mold, and my cat's biting my foot. Oh my gosh. Um, we're gonna do the uh, daily quest, get the shard events, and get the seasonal candles and everything today. And we do have a double seasonal candle event on right now. So there are eight total seasonal candles we can find in the Vaults of Knowledge instead of our standard four. So we have one on the right side, kind of on the back wall there. One over on the left here. This is our second one. Our third is on the staircase right up ahead. Okay, oh, he stopped biting, all right. So we have one in the hallway here as well. This is our fourth. Our fifth is up ahead in front of the elevator there. Four, number five. We're gonna have one against the back wall as well. And this one will be our sixth and our final one on this level. We have two more we can find on the second floor. So I will get the elevator all set up and I will meet you guys down there. Sorry if I yelled really loudly in the beginning. Oh, that was shocking. All right, so two more left. One is just next to this big candle cake right here. And our final one should be right in front of that four player door right over here. Nice. So that is all eight. And again, forging this should give us two total seasonal candles. With all those collected, let's get started on today's daily quests. To catch the light, we can find it on the first floor of the Vault of Knowledge. It might be just flying around above your head. You just gotta look up and fly into it. To admire the sapling, we can find it on the first floor just towards the left hand side. All we have to do is wait by it for 60 seconds and the quest should complete. To relive a spirit's memories, all we have to do is first relive a spirit and then light them, watch their final cutscene, and recollect their emote. This can be done with any spirit in the Vault of Knowledge. It does not necessarily have to be this one. So feel free to use any spirit at all as long as they're in the Vault of Knowledge. The rainbow candles can be found on the fourth floor. It's just over here by this little broken temple. All we have to do is fly into it. You don't have to collect the candles, but you might as well. Today's treasure cakes can be found in the hidden forest and we do have a double cake event on right now. So we'll have eight total ones to find instead of our regular four. Our first two can be found up in the social space, always very easy to find, and the rest are all below and throughout the forest. The third and fourth cakes are just found past the first and second doorway. We have one right here. Whoop. And I'm just gonna fly above, past the second gate. Our fourth one is right here. Now we'll keep going on to the forest brook, and we have one here right underneath this gazebo. From here we're going to head to the elevated clearing, this is where we can find Grandma for our sixth treasure cake, I believe. Right in the middle of this pond, super easy to find. Just be careful because the butterflies are so annoying, they pull you up. Now from here, we're just gonna go straight ahead to the broken bridge area, just flying this way. And now bear with me a little, it might get slightly complicated once we go through that door. We are gonna go back, so kinda towards the entrance of the broken bridge area if you're going straight through the forest. So we're headed back over here on the other side of this gazebo. We will have our cake. There it is. And then from here, we're basically going to finish the forest. We're going to go through, through the temple, and we'll have our last one at the very end in that sunny clearing. All the way over here. Our final cake. 
And that is eight total cakes you can find today. Today's shard is a black shard, which should fall in the Broken Temple area of the Golden Wasteland. This one is pretty easy, and it will award us with regular candles. As far as I'm aware, it can be found in three different spots, but it could be more. Um, so we have one over on the left side there, one in the middle on this little uh, dirt pile here, right around here, and then one far ahead over by where the uh, sapling is during the sapling quest. The shards will fall on the times displayed on the screen now, and uh, this is in PDT or PST time, so if you'd like to change it into your own time zone, I do have a converter linked below in the description with the times written out there as well. So this is the final area where these shards should be able to drop, and yeah, get yourself some regular candles today. And that is it for today's daily changes in the Vault of Knowledge. Thank you so much as always for watching you guys. I hope you found this helpful, hope you enjoyed, and I will of course see you in the next video. Bye bye!